Ah, yes. My lord. The Imperial Watch. Majesty. I love it. 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 Good old Oblivion Imperial City vibes right there. I'm happy. Majesty, this way if you please. My lord. Look at this. Look Majesty. at them. Majesty? This is fantastic. Do I... The Emperor and the Queen of Cyrodiil. This way, if you please, Majesty. We're married and she doesn't even get to be called Empress. I feel like that's insulting. Who is that? Oh, no. Please, let me introduce you to Lord Malachi, yep. envoy of the King of High Rock. Uh-huh. Majesty, it is my honor to finally meet you in person. On behalf of the King of High Rock, we hope to strengthen our relationship and bring wealth and prosperity to the Northern Peninsula. We also hope to fortify our friendship with Solitude and look forward to further talks in the near future. What's with the boy band here? <coughs> Who's clearing their throat? Oh, and this is the king's eldest daughter, Patema. Oh. She insisted on accompanying me to this most important of events. Well met, Uncle. I do hope you can visit us sometime. Uncle? As you may or may not know, my father is frail as of late, and his health is waning, even more so every day. Did they really name this girl Potema? I feel like that, uh... Well, I mean, there's just... There's subtlety, and there's foreshadowing, and then there's naming someone after a well known terrible person uncle oh please forgive me i seem to have forgotten my manners with a slip of the tongue it is my high honor to be in the presence of the emperor by divine grace and of course the lady rigmore morganmead so lady rigmore when do you think i will have the honor of meeting my little cousin I... Lady Potema, all in good time. This is not the time or place. No, it's fine. 36 weeks. You just know that off the top of your head? And isn't the child by the grace of the gods to be a dragon child? Yes. Yes, she is. Please, and I mean no offense. Lady Potema. No, Lord Malachi. I'm worried. Let her speak. I don't like this. I don't like this girl. Then please allow me to give you my most heartfelt and deepest condolences. No. Should anything untoward happen during the birth. This is awkward. Even... Even Count Kameus is offended by you. But what should I expect from someone named after the Wolf Queen herself? You- Oh, I'm going for it. You little fucking shit. Uh, gotta be political here. Gotta be a smart emperor. Was that really necessary? You little fucking shit. Oh, please. I meant no offense. I hate this kid. I just thought- Can I punch a kid in the face? Forgive us, Majesty. The Lady Potema is young and can be thoughtless at times. I'm a puncher. <laughs> I'm gonna lock her up, Majesty. This way. I'm about to be Emperor. I can do what I want. Little cow. <laughs> Count Camaeus of Lelandril, representing the Old Mary Dominion, and the Elder Council in exile. Hey. Majesty. You couldn't wear something nicer, really? Lady Rigmore. Hi, Camaeus. It's my honor and pleasure to meet you both once again under these special circumstances. The Dominion and the Elder Council in exile hope a lasting alliance can be forged to meet the upcoming threat. Of course, before such an alliance can be agreed to, there are a few important things we need to discuss. Such as... <clears throat> oh no. Did you just block her? What? Cyrodiil needs to return to its former glory before the events of that usurper, Ariel Cepheus. 
A long-lasting and true alliance can be attained by the restoration of the White Gold Concordat and the reinstation of the Elder Council here in the Imperial Palace. Is that so? I don't think now is the right time to discuss this, Kameos. I disagree. We have the right to make our terms known. After all, the Dominion was instrumental in destroying Cepheus, so we should see the benefits of our involvement. The benefit is that I don't throw you in prison right now, you little shit. No one asked for you. <laughs> no one asked you for your help. We could have done this without you. All we ask is that the White Gold Concordat be restored, the Elder Council reinstated, and the lands of Southern Hammerfell be handed back over to the Dominion, which is legally and rightfully ours. Legally and rightfully what? yours? Dragonborn, you can't seriously consider these demands. No, I'm not. Lady Rigmore, you must think of the greater good. I will take it upon myself to make sure the returning Justicias act in a fair and open manner. There's no such thing. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever. Plus, it will put me in the perfect position to return to you something of importance. Oh, he did steal it. He did steal it, and he's gonna say it. So you do have the diamond. All I ask is you discuss what I have mentioned, delay any knee-jerk decisions, and after some serious thought, reach out to us. We'll get back to you in good time. Don't you worry about that. Guards arrest this man, I want him dead, and I want him dead now, damn it. We'll get back to you in good time. Don't you worry about that. Majesty. Mm-hmm. The future of Tamriel depends on a newfound friendship of tolerance and diversity. I hope you die. Let the ceremony begin. Hey, you. Who are you? Majesty. Oh, he's on the this Elder way. Council. I was hoping it was someone I could ask to, um... Fetch me a glass of wine, and then poison said glass of wine, and then hand said poisoned glass of wine to Kameas. And if he refuses the wine, just force it down his throat. You know, it's really for the best. Are you blind? I believe he is. Is there anything you need to say before you proceed? Lady Rigmore will be crowned first as the Queen, then you will be crowned as Emperor. We're gonna get assassinated right now, aren't we? I need that diamond. Get your people onto it. Of course. And that little cow. If she's claiming to be Dragonborn's niece, she needs checking out. Right? Be assured, I am already on to the King's newfound daughter. Newfound? As soon as she arrived in the court of the King of High Rock, the King fell ill with an unknown malaise. Apparently, she washed up on the shore from a shipwreck claiming to be a distant relative. The King adopted her. But I have my network onto this already. Are you ready to proceed? Okay, let's get this done. Behold, by the grace of the Divines, the High Queen of Cyrodiil. Rigmore Morgan Mead the first. Where's Kameas going? <laughs> Behold, by the grace of the divines, the High King and Dragonborn Emperor of Cyrodiil and the Empire. George the First. Hi. Thank you. <clears throat> what? Why is she standing there? Well, spit it out, kid. And so the months pass and a new peace dawns on Cyrodiil. Against Blackwell's advice, Rigmore has returned to Bruma. She thinks the palace is too stuffy, cold, and depressing. Yeah, right. But also to await the birth of Kintyra, who is due anytime soon. 
the Dragonborn still has to travel, tr travel to and fro, taking their duties seriously, trying to compromise as best they can when differences of opinions arise. Having worked late into the evening, the Dragonborn decides to spend the night at the Royal Palace. That went by very quickly. Eight months later. Just a minute. Majesty, you need to get back to Bruma right away. What? Oh. Why did I sleep in this armor? We've got a situation. All hell's breaking loose. No one in this game waits for me to say, come on in. You never wait. Everyone barges in. What if I was naked? What if your emperor was naked? You think you can see a naked emperor? I don't think so, Sethry. What is it? What kind of situation? A Lady Rigmore kind of situation. Oh, no. The baby? Don't tell me she's had the baby. <laughs> uh, no, nothing like that. Okay. Oh, well, what is it this time? Blackwell has assigned two personal bodyguards to follow Lady Rigmore around. She's not too pleased about it, and that's an understatement. You're the only one with the authority to deal with it before they end up wearing their guts around their ankles, if you catch my drift. Thanks for letting me know. I'll head there right away. I'll walk with you. Come on, follow me. Married life. Am I right? If Blackwell has sent personal bodyguards, he must have a good reason. I asked him earlier about it, and he buffed me off with... It's a standard procedure for high-ranking nobility, blah, 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 and all that bollocks. But bodyguards, why not assign them eight months ago when she returned to Bruma? Let's face it, you and I both know Lady Rigmore can look out for herself. Bodyguards give her an edge. The only question is... What is it? An edge for what? Exactly. My mistress reckons there's ripples in the void. What sort of ripples, Sethry? Ones of the void sort. Like Sithis void, or... What's in this void, Sethry? Ripples. There's ripples in the void. You're not helping me here. Ripples in the void? Bleeding hell, Majesty. You catch on quick. I did- what? I, what did I catch on anyway, to? My mistress wants me to let you know that she would do anything that she possibly can if there's any complications during the birth. I don't think Azura has any say in this. I just hope those gods ain't lying, bastards, because in truth it don't look good. I'm taking Arania to the annual Bard Festival this year. It's held in Morrowind. Aww. You can rely on me to keep my ear on the ground. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. Well, that's cute. How's Rigmore holding up in all this? I mean, she moved out immediately. It sounds like this marriage is already going pretty badly. She believes Akatosh spoke to her and told her not to be afraid. She does worry but keeps it to herself mostly. She's doing okay. If only people would leave her be. Yeah, if people would leave her be. Well, I only wish you both the best. Thank you, Sethry. Well, Majesty... Blackwell says I can get me head down in one of these guest rooms, so I'll be taking my leave. Just remember to sleep with one eye open and take good care of Rigmore. If she'll let me, I will. Good beans, Majesty. Until <laughs> next time. Good beans. Best saying ever. Return to Bruma. Okay, just wanted to make sure that the quest was marked. That's right. I am your emperor. Am I wearing my crown? I am not. Do I even want to wear my crown? I'm going to wear Ragnar's ring. I feel like it would be disrespectful for me not to. Why does the crown give 91 armor? Jesus. That's a little excessive. I'm not going to wear the crown, then. Your Majesty. Oh, as you were. Hello there. Mm. 
You can't say, hmm, your majesty. You're fired, all of you. Make it quick. Excuse me? Excuse me? You make, make it, it quick. quick. You make it quick. Screw you. Dragonborn. Oh no. Dragonborn, we need to talk. Oh no. Oh no. Here we go. Hi, Rigmore. What seems to be the problem? Who the hell are these guys watching over me all the time? Well, that's Joe. And that's John. They're called the Watch, special loyal units pulled from the Praetorian Guards from the palace. Ugh, I can't even take a dump without them almost falling over me. They're a little clumsy. You'd better sort this out. Now! Joe, John, I'm sorry. Majesty, it's me, Anus. And Crispus. Anus and Crispus. Oops. Me lordship wants us to make sure my lady Rigmore's kept safe. It's an honor, Majesty. Truly it is. I'm sorry. You looked a lot like Joe and John. Hey, why don't you two grab yourselves a beer at the Tap and Tech. Tell Colin it's on my tab. The Imperial tab. I don't know, sir. We don't want to get in any more trouble. His lordship was most specific if we, well, fucked up again. Know what I mean? Crispus? Don't look at me. If the head mage hadn't banged his head, we wouldn't be here. You know what he did, Majesty? We were in Coral after the Battle of Table Mountain. Anus got so drunk, he urinated in the door of the Mages' Guild. What? Fuck off, Crispus. That's a lie. You did what to the Mages' Guild? Three or four of them came out, and they were slipping all over the place on Anus's piss. Anus! The head mage slips, cracks his head on the doorframe, and the next instant, we're running at a staggered pace with fireballs up our asses. <laughs> <laughs> was fucking funny though. But Majesty, his Lordship the Chancellor reckons this is our last chance, and our orders were clear. Anus, Blackwell answers to me. Both of you take some rest and refit. It could be pretty scary, we don't want to be any bother. On my authority, I am looking after Lady Rickmore now, so go grab some beers. That's an order. Right you are, my lord. Then present yourselves to Captain Grimbold at the barracks in the keep when ready. Majesty. Would you believe it? I know. Is Majesty a Cyrodiil in the Empire? Telling you to get a beer on his tab. You lucky bastard. They're actually good soldiers, you know. I know you want to make sure I'm protected, but does it have to be all the time? You know, there are people who want us dead. It's not negotiable, at least for the time being. Oh, what I wouldn't give to get away from all this crap. <sighs> but... I know you mean well and are just looking out for me. And the baby. This is so weird. So what do you want to do now? Is there anything else? Where would you like to go? Is there anything else? I would like to spend a couple nights at the Roxy. Just me and you, before the baby arrives. Spend some time down by the lake. I would really like that. I would really like that too. Let's go right away. Consider your wish my command. Uh, I would really like that too. Really? May I take this opportunity to thank your most royal highness of highnesses for your kindness and bravery in whisking me away into the dangerous steps of the Cyrodiil countryside. Alright, I get it. Don't push your luck. <laughs> you know something? What? You're beautiful. Aww. Get out of here. And so are you. I wish. Get out of here. And I love you. And I think someone outside just dropped a building on their 
entire- well, <laughs> I was gonna say dropped a building under the foot, that was gonna make no sense. I just heard a lot of construction noise outside, I was like, oh god. And I love you too. What do you want? Man, you can be such a dick about this. What if she's just being sentimental? No bodyguards, okay? Just me and you. I don't like the way she said that. I mean it. Come on, you're the mighty dragonborn. We will be together, so just this once, please. Okay, just me, you, and the bump. Yes! We're gonna get to the Roxy Inn, and Balin's gonna be there waiting for us. How much do you want to bet? Well, it's nighttime. Do you think we can get the entire inn shut down just for us? I mean, I am the Emperor. Hey, Vivian. Who? Who's Vivian? Oh, it's you. Hmm? You can't drink, you know that, right? Rigmor, so if the rumors are correct, it's my lady, Majesty. It's an honor. How can I help you? How do you want to do this? What do you mean, if rumors are to be believed? There's no rumor. I'm the Emperor. Look at me. What rumors are there? It's been eight months since my coronation. Uh? Alright, we're sticking with the marriage thing. Just a single room for the both of us. Okay. Just a single. We might be two knights. Find a table and I'll be right over. Come on. Let's go sit over there in my favorite spot. Alright. Let me just, uh, get rid of that wine. I don't want you to be tempted at all. This is weird. <clears throat> this is where it all began. I was so angry with you. I thought I would never see you again. And now here we are. I never did receive the letters you sent. What? No. Uh, oh, Dragonborn, why didn't you tell me that? Uh, I just figured it best to let you get it out of your system. I completely forgot to mention about it. You didn't give me a chance to explain. You let me rant, rave, and cry and didn't think to tell me? Something like that. I only got to read them before crossing into Cyrodiil. They were kept at the border post. Didn't you think it was strange you hadn't heard from me? No. I thought you had gotten on with your life. I didn't want to interfere. I'm sorry. Hey, look at us now. I can't think of a better place to be. Kind of like that honeymoon we never got to have. I was busy being emperor, you know? I would never in my wildest dreams have thought where we would end up. I'm glad you're the Emperor. Truly. And I have a lot of other things to worry about right now, as you can see. I understand. How are you holding up? I'm good. Okay. And... Kintyra? She's been moving around. <laughs> Sometimes she's kicking like she's trying to ride a horse in there. <laughs> or she's trying to stand up. You're enjoying this, aren't you? You seem to be happy despite everything. You sure this is what you wanted? You seem to be happy despite everything, and that's kinda nice. It's perfect. Sure, I've had my doubts about it all. But she's yours too. Thanks, Mara. She's ours. I can't wait to take her up in my arms and love her. Play with her and teach her her first words. To hear her say, Mama, it's going to be a beautiful thing. If you say so, though she'll want for nothing. Yes, yes it is, I can't wait. Do not respond, just like sit here, that's a little awkward. I can't wait. 
You know, all the crap I've had to put up with in my life. This makes it all worth it, Dragonborn. That's just as well, then. It sure does. It's a beautiful thing. I'm happy if you're happy. Uh... And once again, do not respond. It's a beautiful thing. Hey. She's moving again. Can you see it? Wait, can I actually see Look it? Look there. What? Is it gonna move? Okay, no, you can't see it. I was gonna get real scared if I could see it. So what's your perfect scenario? That's easy. Me, you, and Kintyra living in some random shack. You know, our den. Hidden from the world. Growing our own crops, rearing our own livestock. Maybe near a coast or village. You would farm the land and toil while I relaxed on the veranda with the perfect sunset. <laughs> of course you imagine how things could be. But it never ends up that way, right? We can only dream, I guess. I'm sure this ring has some kind of, I don't know, properties? It's shiny. Because since I've been wearing it, I feel... I feel... Actually, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> it contains a drop of Ariel's blood. No shit. Does anyone else know? Only Luna. Better keep it that way, right? I intend to. Luna told me about Pilvi. She was quite upset, actually. That's so sad. Do you think Akatosh forsook her? I don't think we've heard the last of Pilvi Hinesh. I feel a little guilty and need some answers about Pilvi. Sucks if he did, not that it makes me feel any better. Uh, yeah, I need some answers. Why? You weren't to know that breaking the seal would be fatal. Actually, I don't think it was the... Hey, how did you know about her and the ring? Uh, yeah, poor Pilvi, what a bummer. How did you know about all that anyway? Yeah, how, how'd you know? Aside from the fact that Luna was your best friend growing up, so she probably told you all of this. I don't know. It's weird, because I never learned about it anywhere. But it's as if I always knew about it after... After what happened in the cathedral. Wait. Of course. She didn't mean the story of how I got in there. Dragonborn. Maybe Akatosh couldn't reach her. Remember, Nagasa was built on top of the ruins. The gates in the upper chamber... There might have been some kind of negative force or barrier. Wait. So, when I said, hey, how do you know about all this, it wasn't in regards to, hey, how do you know how I got the ring? It was, how do you know about Pilvi Hinesh? I just assumed she knew the story of Pilvi Hinesh. Not that it was like Akatosh who suddenly told her or something. Whatever the reason, Pilvi Hinesh deserves justice. Does she? I mean, I guess. Uh, right place, right time. That's us. You destroyed the gates, remember? Akatosh filled me with a sense of overwhelming love. He wouldn't just leave her down there. Not like that. Not like that for some kind of punishment, surely. Luna was pretty cut up about it. Maybe you're right. He had better be taking care of her, wherever that may be. Luna was pretty cut up about it. It was so good to see Luna again after all these years. She reminded me of you in so many ways. Where did she go? She didn't want to hang around here. She's gone adventuring again. She's hoping to hook up again with an old friend she knows. I know it might sound strange, but that time on the island, just you and me, that was quite an adventure, huh? On Roscria? When you yelled at me nonstop? Sure was. Snakes, spiders, wolves, and ice giants. And don't forget about Mr. Bear. Oh, the gods. I wonder what he's up to right now. Didn't come to our wedding. Are you feeling okay? Is there anything you need? 
Yeah. We can go to bed. I'm getting really tired now. Sure. Let's get well rested. Thank you, Dragonborn. I'm so looking forward to spending some time down by the lake tomorrow. I think people are looking at us. It might be because we're the Emperor and Empress.